G'day guys, Steve from SNR Caravan Solutions. Today I'm installing a DC to DC charger in my own boat and I just thought I'd go through the installation process of how I did it and why I did it. So what we've chosen is a Victron uh, DC to DC. It's only an 18 amp DC to DC and the reason for that was because this Mercury only has a 50 amp alternator. So I rang up Mercury to find that out first to determine whether um, I could actually do it or not. So that's why I went for a small DC to DC just so that I wasn't using all of the alternators output for my charger. The main reason for the DC to DC was the electric motor up the front here. Um, it doesn't have any way of being charged whilst you're on the water so I just thought uh, why not put a DC to DC in. So I found a dry waterproof spot underneath here as you can see nice and dry I can't get um, get in you know any water on it or corrode or anything like that. Um, we're running six mil uh, twin tinned wire uh, just for boats specifically uh, so I've got the input coming up under the gunnel rails here from the start battery and we're using a 20 amp midi fuse in there connected to the start battery and then at the other end I've got a 120 amp lithium uh, battery here and we're using another 20 amp midi fuse um, to protect the DC to DC uh, and then everything comes off this battery so the the mincoder, the sounder and so forth so I've got it connected now with fuses appropriate wire um, the beauty about the Victron gear is it has an app so I'm just going to turn it on here and so you can currently see um, that the DC to DC is off. But what I'm gonna do is start it. So I've just started the, the engine now and I've already gone through some of the settings um, to for the appropriate um, charging rate. So I'm only allowing the charger to turn on once it reaches a certain voltage. So you see, it's not gonna turn on until it's reached that certain voltage. Um, because of the small alternator, um, in this instance, it's pretty much only gonna turn on when it's above idle. So I've got it above idle now. And as you can see, it, it's charging now, but the start input voltage is uh, down around 12.3 volts. So the alternator is working quite a bit for that DC to DC. So you do need to be aware of those alternator charge rates. So yes, and see now it'll drop back. Um, it's below seven uh, and it turned off. So we're, we're saving saving the start battery and we're saving the alternator on the uh, on the boat um, I think that's all the information you really need for a basic setup um, make sure you fuse both ends so everything's protected check out the specs of your motor um, before you go installing a DC to DC have a great weekend guys I'm now going to take this out onto the river enjoy